A Roblox JoJo game copying another Roblox JoJo game is not a common occurrence at this point in time. I mean, we all saw what happened with ABD. AUT was also originally a remake of ABD. Well, not a remake, but rather a adjusted version. But anyways, point being, most of these games put in their own things instead of blatantly copying the other game. And they do it so with the permission from the owner of the original game. But today we have a case similar to Odd Dev's game, of course, where instead of the assets not being stolen from a single place, this time the assets are stolen from a single place. So today we'll be going over a legacy time, which in my words is a shameless copy of old AUT. Absolutely nothing new was added into the game, nothing was changed or readjusted. The only thing that was done is control C, control V onto Roblox. Okay, so let's jump right into this. So according to the information that was on Seski's video that was originally posted about this game, the game was basically a shameless rip off. The stands were buggy, 99% of them didn't work. So overall, it was basically a dollar store edition of AUT, okay? And with them copying the entire game, or rather making a sad attempt at copying it, they have also pretty much used every single old AUT art in their game, which includes thumbnails that is plastered all over the game. Let it be from the menu or when you click on the game. And menus and GUIs also just slapped, copied, and pasted into the game. And for the same reason, it's been receiving a lot of hate. As you can see from this dislike to like ratio that we have. This game pulled a let me copy your homework, but instead you made a sad attempt at copying it and instead you scribbled some mumbo jumbo on paper. Well, I mean, they were looking for players, and that's exactly what they had until they closed for revamp. Before the game closed, I saw over a thousand players in game, and I am telling you right now, you should not be playing this game. And the reason for this is extremely simple. You will get banned from AUT. Even if you join their discords, you will be instantly banned. This is a case extremely similar to YBAM. I would not touch this game, I would not get close to it. It's a ticking time bomb anyways. The game might have its own scripts according to SezQ, but what he also says is the game map is stolen, the art is stolen, the stands are stolen. This is just basically a shameless copy. And besides, even if it is a ticking time bomb, you shouldn't be supporting a copy of the game that you like so much in the first place, which clearly a lot of people haven't been doing. but. Some people among you have been apparently doing this. Like, let's say even if you played it. Dude, the game's gonna die off instantly when YBA releases an update or if AUT releases their own release. But not like that matters because the other game is garbage. Anyways, I mean, I'd just love you to keep this in mind because this is pretty important. For your own sake, if you don't want to get banned, you should not touch this game at all. Just sit tight, be calm, and wait for AUT patiently because that game is going to be absolutely crisp. It's going to be gorgeous. It's gonna glow like a gem. It's literally one of the most well-made games on the platform right now. And by playing this stupid other copied game, you're just basically throwing away your chance at playing this better game in hand. Anyways, that's the end of the video. I hope you found this video informational. Oh yeah, actually, one last thing before you go. Over 95% of you who come to watch my videos and then come back again are not subscribed. So I mean, hey, if you do enjoy the content, why not consider subscribing? And besides, I did the courtesy of not putting this at the front of the video like a generic YouTuber. And I think both of us can agree that that's really annoying. So maybe you just might want to return the favor, you know? Anyways, uh, with those shenanigans out of the way, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.